All right, guys, sitting here in the car, kind of screwing around with things, and figured I'd make an update video on my passes from last night. So, finally made it out to the track for the first time this year. Was pretty nervous because there's a lot of things in the car that are new this year. The Holly's new, the transmission was going through, the drive shaft's new, the rear end I put together. So, uh, was kind of nervous about all that stuff working and jiving together but uh overall i'm really pleased with the results i ended up getting two passes in uh the first pass ended up being a 634 at 108 miles an hour with a 142 60 foot that was leaving on 3600 rpm and about six pounds of boost and i forgot to air the drag radials down from 20 psi to 18 psi <clears throat> So the car performed really well on that pass. Actually way better than I expected it to. Because I want to say last year I ended up running like a 7.0 at 100 miles an hour on wastegate pressure. So either my tune was really off then or this Holly is just awesome. Which I'm just leaning towards the Holly is awesome. Um, so I decided I was going to turn the car up some on the second pass. I uh, turned the two-step back up to 3,800 RPM. And I put 10 pounds of pressure on top of the wastegate. I wasn't sure exactly how much boost that was going to get me, but I knew it was going to be close to 20 PSI. So second pass went off pretty good. Left at 3,800 RPM on about 8 pounds of boost. As soon as the power came in really hard at the top of first gear, uh, on the first, to, uh, first gear to second gear shift, the car shook the tires really, really bad. Um, I stayed in it. I didn't let out of it because I, I hate to abort a pass. The car wasn't burning the tires off. It was just shaking them really bad. So I stayed in it about halfway through second gear. I did I short shifted second gear around probably 6,500 RPM. I normally shift about 6,700, 6,800 RPM. And shifting a third, smoothed out. Car rode all the way out to the eighth mile. In, in third gear it seemed like I was in third gear for forever the car was pulling really hard so I knew it was going to be a good pass so got my time slip and ended up running a 6.05 at 115 miles per hour with a 136 60 foot really really pleased with that the car would have went a 5 if it wouldn't have shook the tires I think it shaking the tires really hurt my 60 foot if the car would have went down in the one twos on the 60 foot, it would have easily been a 590 pass. So the car's making great power, and that was on 19 pounds of boost. Last year, it took me 20 pounds of boost to go 6 1 at 112. So the tune is on point this year. The Holly's working great. It's easy to tune. I can't believe that I kept the stock ECU as long as I did. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. Um, still got the boost leash in here. It works great. I'm not going to go to boost control with the Holly because the boost leash is so easy to work with. I mean, there's literally four buttons on there to make adjustments and you can change boost on the fly. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of cut my rant short. I'm really happy with how the car performed and, uh, I can't wait to see what else it has in store this year when I turn up 25 pounds. So uh, I'll stop ranting and let you guys see the video.